Welcome back, internet lovelies. It is I, Alex Kennis, back for another five minute data dump. So this time we're gonna talk about TL Smoother modules. Now, what exactly are they and why do we need them? Well, a few years back, an upgrade was introduced to the Palulu Step Sticks. They introduced the Texas Instruments boards with DRV 8825 drivers. They stepped at 132nd instead of 116th, and they also handled more current, like 50% more without active cooling, and about 25% more with active cooling. The problem was a lot of people noticed there were some errors in the micro-stepping that resulted in what's called a moir pattern. It's also called salmon skin or tree ring effect. It manifests in these strange regular concentric sort of rippling patterns, especially on curved surfaces. So a fellow wrote a blog post about it a few years back, and he introduced the idea of using anti-parallel diodes on the red and the black stepper wires, especially on the extruder, to combat that behavior. Well, some industrious people took his idea and they made it into some commercial boards. And by took his idea, I mean literally took his idea and didn't give him attribution. So I'm gonna attribute it to him right now. Schrodinger Z, you the man. Thank you. Now I wanna test the concept, not those particular boards. This isn't a review. So rather than just plunk down the cash for those, I took some diodes that I had and strung them up on my own in an arrangement where I could knock out between one and four diodes and test the effect at each point. So these are all the prints I made for this. You could probably actually see the mar pattern in the surface, but first we have a little setup we need to do. A little lead-free solder, a little soldering iron, and here we go. I know this looks like an abomination, but it's fine for the test. I'll do a cleaned up version for my own use. So after we have that all together, it's just a matter of sticking the drivers in and wiring up the diode smoothers. So what brought me to this point, you might ask? Well, usually I use these steppers, because I like to print fast. So you'll notice a low inductance there and a high current. So naturally I wanted to use the DRV8825 drivers, but then I noticed the patterns. So I switched to these thinking that the higher inductance and lower current might sort it out a little bit. And I switched 24 volts. They both help a bit, but not a ton. So on to the test. We print and we print and then we print some more. And here's the result. On the left, you're gonna see the DRV8825 without any diodes on it. And on the right is the Allegro. So you'll notice here the nice smooth, even layers on the Allegro. But on the DRV8825, you can see these tree ring patterns or salmon skin or moir or whatever you wanna call it, interference patterns. And that manifests on the sides. And as you can see on the gradually curved flat surfaces. It's also easy to see here on the edges where you can see the reflections highlighting it, whereas it's nice and smooth on the Allegro. So now we just have to do a dozen prints more or so. The Allegro chip prints are gonna be our standard. As you can see here, they printed out pretty well without any patterns. Whereas the patterns are very noticeable with the Texas Instrument chip with no diodes. So now let's move on to the Texas Instrument driver with just a single pair of smoothing diodes. And as you can see, the pattern already got a whole lot better. I was actually surprised how much better it got with just the two. But with two pairs of diodes, it got even smoother. And then when I upped it to four pairs of diodes, it got smooth to the point where you virtually couldn't tell the difference between the Allegro print and the Texas Instrument driver print. Now, if we zoom in on it, we can see that the Texas Instrument driver with the four pairs of diodes actually printed some of the layers a little bit better than the Allegro driver. But this may be a moot point because I have a couple other little presents in this beautiful box from Phil Estruder. But that'll have to wait for another video. So on to our conclusions. For getting rid of more patterns at 24 volts, TL smoothers, they work, yay. Now how well they work is dependent on how many pairs you use. So we saw that one set of diodes was okay, two sets of diodes was good, and four sets of diodes was great. Now they usually sell the boards with either four or eight diodes on them. Four diodes equals one set because it's one pair of anti-parallel diodes on each line. The two sets diodes equals the eight diodes boards. 
and the four sets diodes would be two of the eight set diode boards. Now you get the most bang for the buck between one and two. So one of the eight set boards would probably be okay. Or if you wanted to put a set of the four set boards after the eight set boards, that will be fine. That would give you three sets altogether. But these boards are pretty popular because of all the Delta printers out these days. So while you could buy two of the eight diode boards and put them in series with each other, I'd actually recommend making them yourself if you're going to go the whole way. And I'll cover that in a future video, so keep an eye out for it. And if I had to rank just the Allegro A4988 boards, I'd put them between the two sets boards and the four sets boards. So you might be better off just sticking with those if you can deal with the lower torque from the lower current that's available. But if you need to use the DRV8825s for the higher current and the better stepper resolution, the boards actually work great. And if you don't mind a couple extra things dangling off your uh, lead wires and your printer, I say go for it. So there you have it. I hope you liked the video. As always, leave your questions in the comments. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and tell your friends about the channel. If you want to support what I do here, as always, I have links in the description of the video, as well as Amazon affiliate links to some of the materials that were involved in making it. So thanks again for joining in and go make something awesome.